Well, welcome to uh, the uh, questions at the end of chapter 7 on fluidization. Uh, this is from uh, Fundamentals of Particle Technology and this is question 2. So um, uh, I'm again going to use the interactive questions on the Particles Org website as a way of going through the problem, but it will be a work solution. I promise to do some work rather than just click buttons. Um, OK, so we were talking here about a fluidization, and uh, initially we need to work out what the voidage is and we're given the data that's shown in this little box just here. Uh, a packed bed consisting of 1.96 kilograms of solids, density 2.8 grams per centimetre cubed, a bit of a mixed uh, set of units there. Uh, the vessel is 10 centimetres internal diameter and the bed height is 20 centimetres. So if we pop over to the uh, diagram, that's, that's what I've represented just here. OK. So the first question was to work out the volume of the, um, the porous medium. And we were told that it's, uh, well, I've, I've illustrated the uh, salient data just here. 10 centimetres internal diameter, 20 centimetres high, and it's circular in cross section. So the area of a circle is pi d squared over 4. So that will give us the area, and we obviously need to therefore multiply by the length. So uh, what we've got here is pi, the diameter is 10, so that's obviously going to be 100, uh, all over 4. That's going to be a fairly easy sum to do. Uh, that, then don't forget to multiply by the length, which is 20. So clearly that lot is going to be equal to... 25 times 20, which is 2 times 250, or 500 times pi. Okay, 500 times pi. Um, I have my little trusty calculator here, so uh, let's cancel everything. 500 times 3.14, that'll do, is 1570. So we know that the answer is 1570 centimetres cubed. OK, uh, let's just check that. Ready to answer. Correct. Good, good, good news. Uh, right, OK, so we're ready to move on. Yep. Now we need to work out what the volume of solids present in the process is. Uh, OK, so if we go back to our drawing board just here, uh, the data for that is what we have over here. I'm going to continue working in CGS units. Oops, I ought really to have said that that was centimetres cubed or millilitres. Um, OK, density is mass over volume. You can get that from the units, kilograms per metre cubed. So the mass we have is 1.9 six o grams um, and we need to multiply by sorry divide by the density 2.8 grams per centimeter cubed or grams per mil so that gives us a volume of one nine six o divided by 2.8 equals 700 so that's 700 mils of solids, 700 mils of solids. Um, now I know the next thing is to calculate the voidage. Um, so the solids concentration is going to be equal to 700 mils divided by, uh, what was the original voidage, 1500? Better just quick check check on that. Or we'll do it officially, I suppose. 700 was the mills there. Uh, check that the answer is correct. It is. That's good news. Ready to move on. Uh, oh, 1570. It's 700 divided by 1570. So it's 1570. That should be 7 there. 1570. So the concentration is 700 divided by 1570. So 700 divided by 1570 
the concentration is 0.44 and that's 1 minus the voidage because the voidage equals 1 minus concentration because it's the the concentration here is volume of solids divided by total volume okay uh, whereas the voidage is the volume of voids divided by the total volume so that must be equal to 0 0.56 56 percent voidage check on that uh, the porosity blah 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 or 55 percent 55.4 probably is the answer that we're looking for there yeah 0.554 okay ready to move on okay this is where it now starts to get a bit more complicated uh, we derived the equation for the minimum fluidizing velocity in the previous question uh, there it is umf is uh, equal to uh, the density difference between the um, solids and the, and, the, and the fluid just here uh, then the acceleration due to gravity uh, the voidage that we've just calculated 0.554 um, the diameter of the particles and we're told in the question what the diameter of the particles is it's f they're 500 microns uh, 1 minus uh, the voidage and then the viscosity which again we're, we're told is uh, the viscosity of water so it's 10 to the minus 3 hence here are uh, values plugged into the equation that we need to solve um, I'll put that just slightly over here because uh, I'll kick up the spreadsheet because the, cal the com calculations are a bit too advanced for my little calculator just there uh, but I'll take you through the problem just here so you, I've put the data in uh, just here for the voidage, the density difference, the particle diameter and the viscosity. Uh, now let's do the calculation. Um, okay, so we want the density difference times by 9.81 times by the voidage cubed. So that's voidage function cubed times by the particle diameter in SI units squared squared now we need to divide by quite a lot divide by 180 that's assuming the Cassini constant of 5 is accurate times by 1 minus the voidage okay times by the viscosity times by the viscosity and then don't forget to put the brackets at the end to close that off uh, and we have the a minimum fluidizing velocity of 0 0.00935 so if we go back to our, um, that's answer D 0 0.0094 check that that answer is correct it is good we've got the right value of minimum fluidizing velocity um, ready to move on yes uh, we use the Cassini Kármán then in order to calculate the um, minimum fluidizing velocity how do we use the Cassini Kármán equation well it's because this equation here this equation here was derived via the Cassini Kármán equation so we need to check that the Cassini Kármán equation is valid it's a laminar flow equation we need streamlined flow of the fluid inside the porous medium and uh, to do that we need the modified Reynolds number okay so this is the modified Reynolds number not the flow Reynolds number the modified modified Reynolds number modified Reynolds number uh, which is the superficial velocity and the minimum fluidizing velocity is a superficial velocity so that's not a problem times by the density of the fluid 
uh, divided by the viscosity of the fluid, 1 minus the voidage, and then the specific surface area per unit volume. And we're going to use the substitution that SV equals 6 over X. That's assuming uh, spherical particles. If we do that, we have this equation here, which I've populated with the numbers there. And I've actually pre-programmed that to save time on the spreadsheet. The particle Reynolds number comes out at 1.75. OK, so that gives us a value of about um, 1.75. So is that demonstrating relatively low turbulence? Because a Reynolds number is always the ratio of uh, inertial and viscous forces. So we need to know what the threshold is for significant turbulence. In the modified Reynolds number, we're looking for a Reynolds number to be less than 2. So, so long as the modified Reynolds number is less than 2, then we have insufficient turbulence to worry about it. We can use a streamline or laminar flow equation and that's OK. So we're OK there. Uh, we can use the cassini kalman equation to answer this problem. Was it valid? Yes, it was valid. Just check that. Yep, we got that right. Ready to move on. Excellent. Uh, the last part is to calculate the um, Froude number. We need to know whether we've got nice particulate fluidization. That's the straightforward type. It's a liquid system, so undoubtedly, actually, it will be particulate. Uh, do we have bubbles taking place in the uh, in the fluidization, or do we have slugging taking place uh, in the fluidization, which again is a kind of bubbling, but it's bubbling on mass where slugs of gas go through. And you notice I've slipped up there and said gas because liquid systems tend to give you particulates. So it's almost a given that this will be a, uh, uh, a particulate. Particulate is the, where the particles behave in a uniform way. They nicely expand and um, contract according to what the flow rate is. There's the equation reproduced. The Froude number is the um, minimum fluidizing velocity squared uh, divided by g times by x. And this is entirely empirical. You, we're looking for a, a, as low a Froude number as possible. And the Froude number we've got here is very low. The threshold for bubbling significantly above that. Um, it's a, there's great arguments as to what the threshold is. Uh, one. Is a, is a rough speaking value, and that obviously is an awful long way below one, uh, 0.018 to round uh, with rounding. So according to that, we have nice particulate fluidization, which of course is what we'd expect from a liquid system, and that is uh, fluidization minimum fluidizing velocity, and the calculation on how to obtain it, plus the check that we've used the right equation and also a check on the type of fluidization we would expect to see. So we move on and then that takes us to the next question, which is a separate video. So goodbye.